not a good sign. Maybe another way to start it. <laughs> Squish it. No. Nope. Oh! <laughs> glad you weren't over there. I'm glad I wasn't either. Actually, I kind of wish you would have been over there. That would have been awesome. <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. What did you think about my new toy? That is the Monster Malibu, it is ridiculous. Ridiculous. And if you want to see more of it, you need to swing over to Kentucky Customs. That is the car channel I'm starting. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need to go ahead and subscribe. There's a link in the description down below. Now, we're back on the range today and we're going to have some fun with the 50 BMG and a very heavy Olympic weight made out of steel. Let's go check it out and get started. All right, so this is what we're shooting today. This is a 55 pound steel calibrated weight this is what you'd see in like powerlifting contests the olympic stuff like that they want them calibrated so it's as close to the weight that you're lifting as possible there's like not very much variation this thing is stinking heavy and it's about an inch to an inch and a half thick and i think it's going to stop a lot i'm going to go ahead and set it up at an angle all right, now we're gonna scoot back and get started, but before we do, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Great Shadow Legends! Have you ever imagined of fitting a truly epic, high quality game right in your pocket? Well, now you can with Raid Shadow Legends. There's over 500 champions to collect, each with their own skill trees and millions of artifacts to find and equip. No two champions will ever be the same. That makes for literally trillions of ways you can build your teams, crazy depth, and endless strategies to figure out. Sounds pretty good, right? My favorite part about Raid is the characters and the graphics. Like I just said, there's over 500 champions. My favorite champions are the Skinwalkers. They look like Minotaurs on steroids. They got giant horns, they're all beefed up, and their attacks are pretty stout. I mean, look at this dude. He looks awesome. And this month, Raid just released their biggest update ever, the Doom Tower. The Doom Tower is a giant tower with over 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously awesome bosses to take on. On top of that, they're also releasing 14 awesome new champions just in time for the holidays, along with a whole host of holiday events and tournaments. There's really never been a better time to start playing, and here's the best part. The Raid team is giving away a bunch of free goodies, so use my link in the description down below, and you'll get one free Void Champion, 50 gems, an XP booster, energy refills, and even an ancient shard as soon as you get in the game. And all this treasure can be found right here. And don't forget to look for me in the game under the username Kentucky Scott. Now let's get back to the video. All right, let's start out with 22 long rifle. I've got a little 40 grain 22 and I'm going to be using a Ruger LCR 22. Well, that's it. It went through it. Video's over. We hit right there and it literally did nothing. Up next is 9mm. I have some 115 grain full metal jackets and I'm going to be using my GST-9. We hit right there and it does have a little dent, but still didn't do much. Now let's step it up to 45 ACP. I have some 230 grain full metal jackets and I'm going to be using a Smith & Wesson 1911 TA. We hit right there and it looks like it did nothing to that plate. Up next is a caliber that I haven't used in a long time, but it gets requested a lot and that's 454 Casul. This is a Taurus Raging Bull. I had this thing Cerakoted, flat dark earth and black and it looks really cool. The only problem is the sights are a little off, like somebody dropped this gun at some point and I have some 300 grain jacketed hollow points. I hope we can hit it, <laughs> these sights. Oh yeah, we hit it. That's uh, that's a pretty big dent. Oh my gosh, that's not good. The 454 Casul did a lot more damage than I thought it was gonna do. Kind of worried about the plate right now, but we're gonna go ahead and shoot it with a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum anyways. This is the one I torture tested. No front sight or rear sight, so We'll see if we can hit it. And I have some Underwood ammo, 350 grain jacket at hollow points. <laughs> 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 
Who needs sights? That is a big crater. Oh my. Yeah, that, uh, that did some damage all right. Still did not make it through though. All right, I'd say that's enough handguns. Let's hit it with a few rifles. This is my V7 AR-15 and I'm loaded up with some 5.56 full metal jackets. Sometimes you just gotta dump a mag. Oh, we hit right there. That's a pretty big crater. But we did not make it through the other side. It stopped the AR-15, now let's see if it'll stop an AK-47. Gonna be loaded up with some 7.62 by 39 full metal jackets. So here's where we hit with 762 by 39 and there's a pretty big crater, but nothing out the back. At this point, when I was shooting a cast iron plate, we had already made it through. I think I made it through with a 500 Magnum with a cast iron plate. So this thing is holding up really well. Gonna hit it with one more thing before we move up to 50 BMG and that's 12 gauge. This is the IWI Tavor TS12 and I'm gonna be using a one ounce 12 gauge slug. Stick that in right there. Twist that tube around. <laughs> Looks like I may have kind of hit the thickest spot here but I don't think it really matters. That slug was not making it through that plate. It's finally time to hit this thing with 50 BMG. So I have a Serbu RN50. The only problem is this has the 36 inch heavy barrel. It's a lot of weight up front and I forgot to bring a table to set it on. So I'm gonna try to shoulder it. Hopefully we still manage to hit the plate because I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of sway and I'm gonna be using a 50 BMG armor piercing incendiary tracer, a silver red tip. Screw on. <laughs> It won't go on. Oh, so I guess I'm just gonna come up. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna hit it on the left side. Hit. That is an arm workout. <laughs> Look at all the black on this from where that reacted with this plate. We definitely made it through it. We hit the five. <laughs> Blew through the back of that thing and then we hit our cinder block. <clears throat> I highly doubt that I can hit that, but I think we should try. Yeah, I highly doubt that I'm gonna hit it, but we're gonna try and I'm gonna use a 50 BMG blue tip. This is a pure incendiary round. Okay. Hit. I think we came close, but I don't think I hit it. No, that wasn't close at all. <laughs> we hit right there and had an awesome reaction on this thing and then blew through the back. The center edge and the outer edge of that plate seem to be the thickest, so I think we need to shoot it one more time. I have a can of nacho cheese behind it and I'm gonna be using an armor piercing incendiary round, a silver tip 50 BMG. I know there's a Ralphus round in the thumbnail pick and you were probably waiting for me to use that today and I had plans to use it, but we're blowing through this plate really easy. So I don't think it's worth using a hundred dollar round. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> oh. 
All right, well, I thought I hit it, but we just nicked it. But I really don't think that the 50 BMG was gonna have a problem getting through that much more plate than it did shooting through the centerpiece. So we're just gonna go ahead and call it quits. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you wanna see more of the Monster Malibu, you need to go check out Kentucky Customs. There's a link in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time.